Hey everybody, final thoughts for Florenza, the card game. And keeping it short and sweet, this is a short and sweet game. It's really quick, it plays really smooth, really simple, really elegant. I mean, this is a, this is a very kind of almost pared down game. There's not a lot of fancy, neat, surprising mechanisms or anything in it. It's very straightforward, gather resources, convert them into victory points kind of thing with some ha with some simple hand management thrown in. Very straightforward, but very elegant, you know, like a really kind of pure example of the form. And nothing wrong with that at all. I mean, actually, Jen and I found we enjoyed it very much, uh, you know, in, in our first couple of plays, which, I mean, and again, I haven't played it very much. I just got it the other day, uh, so you can consider these uh, initial impressions, but it was very, it was light and breezy and fun. It was a nice way to spend an hour. Because uh, it's over pretty quick, you, it's very satisfying to have a plan and go for it and build it, and that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say. No, I will say something else. Uh, and this doesn't bother me in Jen at all, but I will mention some people. Uh, first of all, I think I think first and foremost, this game was really designed with more players in mind. It goes up to four players. With only two players, there is very little competition for getting the resources you want. It's not very hard to get what you need. Uh, because there are so many of these cards down here that you, you, you never really have to work. I mean, we ne at no point have we ever felt the need to try to grab the first player marker because we were so desperate to hold on to first player. There's always so much available that it's just not really an issue. And I think, uh, but I would suspect with three or four players, turn order becomes more important. Things get tighter because these, car these location cards would get gobbled up much quicker. I would think it's much more likely that you might want to reserve a monument because you're afraid somebody else might build it. But in a two-player game, there just doesn't really seem like there's that much competition. Now, Jen and I don't mind that at all, but I do know some people say that, oh, the two-player is weaker because there's not as much competition. It's not quite so harsh and unforgiving, and you know you don't have to constantly reevaluate all your plans because everything goes asunder because somebody else beats you to a key critical resource and all of that. If you're one of those types of players who needs that extra level of challenge and needs that in your face, oh, how can I get that thing? Because I know somebody else is going to take it, so do I take that? You know, if you need that desperately, this game, would definitely just make sure you play this game with three or four players and you'll probably be fine. Because with two players, I think you'll find instead, it is a very relaxing, laid back, easy going game. And it's interesting, I think, you know, because they did for the, for the two player game and for the three player game, they remove a bunch of cards from the uh, Florenza deck. And I think a couple from the artist deck. But they don't remove any from the monuments, and they don't remove any... Well, I think what they could have done, if they wanted to have that same level of tenseness, of, ah, oh, will I be able to do what I need to do in a two-player game, if they had, say, removed, say, oh, you know, instead of having seven monuments out all the time, there were only five monuments, so there are fewer on offer, and some of the monuments got removed from the game. If a couple of resource types in, in their entirety got removed from the game, so there were only like three resources, and then it's going to be much harder to get what you need, that would have made it tighter. And, you know, th that kind of removal, it basically they did not scale it down for two-player. They did, instead said, hey, you know what, let's like two-player, just a really fun, relaxed experience. And that's why Jen and I enjoy it, because we have no problem with a fun, relaxed experience, and we've enjoyed it very much, and this is definitely a keeper, we think. But, you know, that might, I mean, that's just something you might have to bear in mind, that if you really want that tension, and you plan to play this only with two players, you might not get that tension. Otherwise, I can't really think of much more to say about it. You know, it's pretty, it's, uh, you know, it, it takes up a lot of table space. That's kind of obnoxious, too. This is not a game we'd ever be able to play at a restaurant, because it's, it's so expansive. But... That's a shame, because um, you know you really, it's one of the advantages of card games. They're very portable, you can play them in a lot of spaces. This game gobbles up as much space as a full on board game. So that's a shame, but again, a minor complaint. But I think we'll definitely keep this and decide to play. If we ever just need a nice, breezy, relaxing, quick game that gives us a little bit to think about and gives us a nice sense of accomplishment when we successfully complete what we set out to do three turns ago, and then we always just see who got the most points, then, for Lorenzo, the card game will be our game. Now, I still haven't played Forenza, the board game, so I cannot compare this against that at all. I really look forward to trying it someday, and if I ever do get to play Forenza, I, in the final thoughts for that, I will compare that to Florenza, the card game. But in the meantime, that's it. 
Thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any comments, questions, anybody who knows the full game and doesn't know the card game, please comment. Tell me what you think. Um, and if I made any mistakes, I apologize. It's very easy to lose track of all these cards. But, as always, let me know and I'll, I'll note up the video. And beyond that, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day. Uh, bye bye